Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to deal with a losing streak or how to deal with multiple losing trades. Um, a lot of times this can mess a lot of people up and cause traders to trade off of their plan, go on tilt, etc. So in today's video, we're just going to talk about how to deal with this and how to overcome it. So you can be a more consistent trader and that'll lead to more profits. If you're new here, I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures. I've been trading for four years now, and it's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, and lots of pain, but over time, I became more consistent, and I believe that you will as well if you're not already. So smash that like button, and let's dive into it. So the first thing is to make sure you're sizing accordingly. And what this means is knowing your edge, knowing your trading strategy, the win rate, the stop loss, the risk reward ratio. When you know all these things, you know what your potential worst drawdown is likely to be. Like what's, you know, over your years of data that you've back tested, um, you know, like, am I going to take four losses in a row? What's the worst? Can I take five losses in a row? And trading's random, right? Like there's times where you can have three winners in a row. Uh, there's You can have a 50% win rate and you can have four wins in a row, or you can have a 50% win rate and have five losses in a row. Uh, it's, it's totally random, right? Obviously rare, but it can happen. So the first step is to be aware of your data, because if you're aware of your win rate, your worst possible drawdown, then you can size accordingly, because in trading, you can only control your risk and your trading plan. So if you follow your trading plan and you control your risk based on your potential worst drawdown, then you won't feel emotional and you'll be totally okay because you know, hey, just part of the process, um, it's just gonna be a higher low throughout this month or this year because you know my edge is profitable month to month or year to year. Uh, it just could be a losing week, could be a losing two weeks, or it could be a losing month, but I know in the next month or the next two months, I'll be back to my peak. And you'll know this through the data. So this is all revolving around size. If your size is in check to be able to handle that kind of drawdown of the worst potential drawdown you've tested in your data, then you won't feel emotional, you won't feel stressed whatsoever, and everything's gonna be fine. But if you don't control your risk, where you don't, maybe you don't even know your potential worst drawdown, then that's a huge issue because you could think like, oh, you know, I'm only probably gonna take two or three losses in a row, but now here you are, four losses in a row, and you're doubting your system and you're afraid to put on the next trade because you thought like you wouldn't be here, right? And the next thing you know, you blow your account. So that's why we need to know the data. And then control the risk based on the data. So that way you can weather that storm no matter what. And then always err on the side of caution, right? Let's say in back testing, you, the worst you tested is like a five loss streak. Well, go even a little bit lower in size so that way you can handle a six loss streak. It's just huge, I highly recommend that because there's so many things like you could end up testing a back testing improperly, right? Where you just made it look too good. There's just a lot of things you have to factor in. The second thing to ask is, did you stick to your trading plan, right? There's two types of losses. There's a loss that's in your trading plan and there's a loss where you took a trade that's not in your trading plan. And when, I don't know about you, but there's so many times like I took a trade that wasn't in my trading plan and I felt terrible. I felt so terrible. There's nothing worse in my opinion than taking a trade that isn't in your trading plan and then it being a, lo a loss. The only thing the only thing worse is if like a trade copier puts you in like double size and it's a loss. That that hurts more. But <laughs> I trust me, it's happened a lot of times where obviously I took trades that weren't in my trading plan, veered up the trading plan, and then it was a loss. And then you just beat yourself up for the whole day, even like days, you always think back like, oh I should have been up this amount this week, but I'm break even or you know, instead of being down this much, would have been down far less, but I took that trade and it put me off, off the edge, right? So you just got to ask yourself that question. Like if you took a trade that's in your trading plan and it was a loss, then you should be proud. There's nothing wrong with that because like I said in the previous tip, you can control your trading plan, you can control your risk. Everything else is going to be randomized in terms of the result of your trade. So if you followed your trading plan and you took a loss, there's nothing to worry about and you did a great job. You should honestly be journaling about how proud you are that you took a trade in your trading plan and it was a loss and that you didn't move the stop loss early or you didn't move the take profit early like you followed your trading plan. So nothing to do there. Honestly, you just got to be happy, right? Uh, if you took a trade that wasn't in your trading plan now, this is where you have to ask yourself, okay, why aren't I being disciplined, right? It's just, it's a discipline thing. So, and, and that could come down to a few reasons, right? One of the reasons for me was I didn't have belief in my edge. So, be, you know, I had, I needed more data. That, that's what that means. Because I believe it's happened every time. When I've had enough data, I've convinced myself to fully believe in the edge. 
So if you just don't have enough data, then you won't fully believe in the edge and then you won't be able to execute the trading plan perfectly and you'll veer off the trading plan. So if you are not sticking to your trading plan, then next step is likely gather more data. Use FX Replay, use some backtesting software and do that before you continue to trade. And the third thing is to make sure you actually have a defined edge. And I know a lot of traders in the first two years, three years, one year, they do actually don't have a defined trading edge. They go off of instincts. They have tons of chart time, tons of, of data in that sense. Like they've, they've spent the time that nothing wrong there, but they don't have the hard data of what's their win rate. What's their, you know, uh, risk reward ratio. What's their biggest uh, drawdown. Like when's the, the times a day where this trade setup doesn't work as good. Um, all these little minute details, you know, like not, uh, you know, do I trade if there's red news coming up or am I allowed to trade or not? Um, having all these rules set in place comes from actually gathering the data, doing the back testing, like getting a lot of months of data, years of data. So that way they can see their edge. And once they have it, then they can go ahead and just follow the trading plan and they won't have to be stressed about these losing streaks because they see the data. And if you're one of those traders that don't have a defined trading edge where you don't have all this mapped out, you don't have all this data, then stop right now. You can close this video. Uh, you can go to FX replay. Uh, you can just start charting, choosing time frames, trading on it and building an edge, finding out how you can have a long-term edge where you are profitable uh, in, in, back testing software and then put that edge into real time and just see if you're able to execute in real time as you were back testing. And that's the process that'll take a year or so. And then you, next thing you know, you're going to be on your way to be becoming a consistently profitable trader. So those are my three tips. Make sure obviously number one size accordingly. So we can handle the, the loss streak, you know, get them all emotional that you're going to lose the account. Number two is, did you stick to your trading plan? You got to ask yourself that question. You know, did you take a, a trade that wasn't your trading plan? Uh, if you did, then, Next step is, hey, maybe I need to be more disciplined. How am I going to be more disciplined? Maybe I need more data on my edge. Number three is to actually make sure you have a defined edge and you have the data. And if you don't, then you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up button if you appreciated it. Subscribe for more videos just like this one. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.